all right guys what is good another video and today i want to talk a little bit more about raheem morris uh why i'm starting to believe that this is the best hire out of all the coaches that was interviewed that this is the best hire for arthur blank and maybe for the team and maybe for the fans i'm trying to be a little open-minded I'm trying to be a little bit optimistic because i'm I'm on the fence about it. I, 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 I've started to be a little more open, leaning towards the positive side. But I think there's a lot of positive than negative when you think about this Raheem Morris hire. Let's talk about it. Raheem Morris was here as the interim head coach. That was a bad situation. I mean, we all could be honest. It was a bad situation he was put in. Anytime you are an interim coach... It's very difficult to continue that or turn around a situation and continue what you turned around. That That's difficult. I will admit that. Now, when you're looking at, let's say, when he was a head coach in Tampa, uh, not very good overall, but he did take Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman, K-State legend Josh Freeman. To a 10 and 6 record. And um that's something to that's a that's a pretty good accomplishment because Josh Freeman was, you know, he was he was mediocre. He was like Cam Newton and Desmond Ritter mixed into one. <laughs> but nevertheless, he's he's done a pretty good job on that aspect. But prior to him leaving the Falcons and going to find other jobs, I I'm starting to understand it, why this situation was the best situation, because when he was the interim head coach and even going into a situation where you were the head coach, could possibly be the head coach, it was a bad situation. Right guy, wrong place. He turned a 0-5 team to a 4-7 team, which, you know, that was a pretty good, you know, turnaround, all things considering. And the Todd Gurley play, we all know the Todd Gurley play against the Lions. I mean, just go look it up. That could have been five and six, uh, nearly 500. Right guy, wrong place. Right guy, wrong place. He goes on to other places. He goes on to the Rams and be a defensive coordinator where he learns. I think he learned how to win. I think he learned a lot in that aspect. And if you go back and look at certain things, in our personal lives, me in particular, I got a whole story that I can go to about that. I was not the same person, and I don't think he was the same person that he was at, in Tampa Bay or the interim coach in Atlanta that he is now. He is in a better situation than he was in both of those in both of those other situations. He has a better GM. He has a better cast of, of, of players. And Rich McKay is out of the way, reportedly. Now, I started to think, and I could parallel to this short story about myself. I used to live here in Atlanta prior to moving to South Carolina. I felt like I was the right guy in Atlanta, or living in Atlanta, the right guy to build myself up, but it was the wrong time. So I moved to South Carolina, a, a, a city that was a little bit slower, a place where I can gather my bearings and pretty much learn how to manage things in a slower environment. Now I'm back in Atlanta and I feel like I, I'm under, I'm, I got my legs under me. I am much better off than I was eight, nine years ago. I don't know if that's the parallel to Raheem Morris, but I can see it. And as for Arthur Blank, I think he sees it. He moved some things out of the way. He got the better personnel in. Thanks to Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot, I will give them credit. They changed the culture of this team. The culture of this team is not what it was six, seven, eight, nine years ago. So now I believe he's the right guy at the right time. Do I think it's going to, you know, do I think it's going to manifest into a Super Bowl? No, nah, I, 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 I'm not ready to go that far yet. I got to see what the product looks like under his belly, uh, uh, under his, um, you know, under his tenure 
with the guys that he wanted in place. Not like it was in Atlanta. Not like how it was in Tampa. He didn't have his guys in place. Now he has the chance to get his guys in place without Rich McKay in the way. Him and Terry Funnel's going to work together. And Terry Funnel's done a phenomenal. I know that I said that crazy. A phenomenal job. Because I tried to say phenomenal and fabulous at the same time. A phenomenal job at picking players for this team. You got Ebikete, you got um, Zach Harrison, you brought in uh, Troy Anderson, you brought in Nate Landman, you got Jesse Bates, you got Clark Phillips, which Clark, Clark Phillips is going to learn. He's going to be fine. You brought some players here that fits what Terry Fondo wants to do, and I'll be honest with you, he fits what Raheem Morris wants to do. The way the defense the Rams played this past season is very reminiscent of what the Falcons want to do. I think Arthur Blank understands that, and I think that will galvanize the players because the players love this move. Players that are outside of this organization love this move. You even have Mike Tomlin says that he should have been a head coach, and, he's, and, 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 and that's a guy that people are missing out on. You got a lot of people loving this move from the Roddy Whites of the world, the, you know, the Jalen Ramseys, Mike Tomlin, a couple other people, Grady Jarrett likes it. And I think with the players that want to play for him, I think we'll get better free agents. You get better free agents. You get, you get the knowledge that Terry Fondo has in getting players and scouting players and drafting players. All you need is an offensive coordinator and a quarterback. You get those two things right, you can start having that conversation about going far in the playoffs. And that will bring the fans on board, which I think a handful of them, a good bit of them are already. But once you get that aspect along with everything that's going on, I think this is the best move considering all the other coaches that were interviewed. Y'all let me know what y'all think. The more I think about this, the more I dwell on it, the more I listen to people who are more in direct ties with Raheem Morris. I listen to the NFL players. I listen to some of the coaches. I listen to some of the talking heads that have been around Raheem Morris. I, I don't know, guys. I think this is the right guy at the right time. I'm not all in on it yet. But I understand what just happened. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to get my Friday out of the way. Hopefully y'all are ready for the weekend and y'all enjoy yourselves. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on YouTube. Well, subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on Rumble. Hit the Spotify and, and, and Apple and Google Podcast. That's where the podcast is, is at now. Cash App and PayPal links. VF Baller 20 and PayPal out uh, the link. I should just go ahead and put that link down below so you guys could check that out as well. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all be blessed. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.